Well, I'm going to point out something ahead of time on this video. And the best thing about this information I'm going to give people, because I know it's going to reach the right type of people, you know, because I got a real problem with the religious. I think they wrecked the Roman Empire, the religious uh, zealots, and they're wrecking the United States. Um, spiteful. But I'm going to give you some information about something to really watch for with silver. And it's actually you're going to watch personalities. I'm going to use uh, pure devil stuff because it always works. You know? The ratio is important too. The silver to gold ratio is important. The oil to gold ratio is important. That type of stuff. But it's also watching the personalities involved. They'll tell you when it's going to hit too too high. One to really watch is Max Kaiser. I pointed this out before, but now I think people on my channel understand to deal with that guy. You know, he's the one in the beginning that brought up this thing with uh, buy silver, J buy break J.P. Morgan. Well, buy real estate and break J.P. Morgan. I don't know, buy copper and break J.P. Morgan. Supposedly they inherited a short position on silver from Bear Stearns. That was the whole idea. So I would buy physical, well, whatever. I don't want to get into that. But, you know, he painted uh, Sprott as the silver vigilante. Sprott, Sprott comes out of with his fund at a premium, higher than the price of silver. The premium goes up on the fund, and he, he dumps it, like, right at the peak. A good part of it, then he dumps some more of it at another lesser peak but he, he got it all right on the money so you know I put it to out before but people weren't re now they're more receptive to it but then fast forward again you know with Max Kaiser he talks about bitcoins oh yeah I knew that was gonna bust I mean freaking you could look at the curve it's gonna start going like this what the hell you think you know you could tell when something's in a bubble when it starts going like this right I mean, holy shit, right? So, he tells people to buy that. And it goes up more. I think it doubled. But it happened like in the next two weeks it doubled. And then it crashed. And it went up a little bit. But basically, it was another pump and dump. That guy is pure entertainer. He's not against the banksters. I don't even know what the hell he is, to tell you the truth. You know, it's all that is is entertainment. But, you know... When he's telling you all this stuff about getting into Sprott's silver fund and getting and buying physical silver, and he's selling coins. I remember he was selling coins, fifty bucks when his, you know with his picture on it, when the damn silver was like twenty bucks less than that or something like that. It was some ridiculous difference between his spot price and what he was asking for because he had his picture on it. And after you know the bubble broke, you know people figured it out. That's one to watch because when he starts coming on real hot and heavy, you know, and others start, and all of them start coming out of the woodwork. That's going to tell you it's got some more life in it, but you start cautiously dumping some. So that's my advice on that. Now um, I'm putting out a lot of videos on his Beck protocol. And I figured out, you know, it's unrelated to the silver. But, you know, silver can be a healer, too. But, you know, everything like you do with this alternative stuff, just like you do with medicine, like if you use colloidal silver, um, you don't want to do it to excess. Even colloidal silver, if you take too much of it, not even worrying about the the blue skin. I don't think that's, that's not easy to get. Um, you know, the grayish colored skin. The thing is, it can actually be toxic to the body. It's not good to take way too much of anything. But colloidal silver has a lot of uh, you know different things you can use it against, and especially with topical infections. Another great use of silver, physical silver, right? Now, um, I put a lot of these things out with the Beck protocol because the one thing that it was originally that current was developed for was HIV/AIDS. And I'm going to tell you one thing. If <clears throat> they conquered that disease, like, not cured it, but, like, managed it for, like, buying a zapper, you can use a zapper. It doesn't work that well, I don't think, because I looked at a lot of feedback. 
But if they could manage that disease dirt cheap, that would piss off the religious people to the max. Because you know what? A lot of them are very spiteful. They think it's pun they say it's punishment from God and good Lord has punished you and some some of them sinners and some people just got punished by the Lord and the big you know, it's a bunch of shit. You know what? Because if they got rid of that disease, um, you'd be going back to the sexual revolution of the nineteen sixties all over again, man. All over again. And it would drive these freaking religious people nuts. So I put a lot of the stuff out on the back protocol. It might actually work if it's applied right. And I realized that Bob Beck, actually, Bob Beck was a cool guy. He was very much a, well, I don't know. He had the libido and the hot chicks and all this kind of shit. He was all right, man. He was all right. And uh, very honest, thought outside the box. He made a couple of erroneous things. And it's not because he was stupid or didn't make a mistake. It was actually with the information he had at the time. But there might be a way to actually... Um, you know, work with this spec protocol, modify it, and actually uh, bring about the sexual revolution again, along with colloidal silver and, and everything else that's out there. So, uh, you know, that's one of my motivations, because uh, it's, uh, you know, sometimes the truth is very simple. It really is. Now, I'm also going to present this with the silver, fiscal silver coins. You say it's to break the banksters, right? That's what people say. They want to have physical silver to protect your wealth. The thing is, actually, if you had the hardcore type tradespeople, you know, the mechanics, the uh, electricians, the plumbers, you know, the ones that do the roofs, the ones that put in the roads, the ones that do construction, the framers, carpenters, and, you know, people put down a tile, do uh, brickwork, masons. If you had all kinds of, you've had a major, major middle class of those type of people. And you know, it's like, really, what do you need? You know, Max Kaiser's a bullshit artist, okay? Right now, I'm bullshit, too. But I'm just... They drive me nuts, and I want to counteract their, their bullshit. That's why I put mine on here. They, uh... But if you had this really strong entrepreneur, hard-working middle class, which most people aren't today, they're freaking bureaucrats, um, because of government regulation, all you'd have to do is produce goods, and use silver for money. You know, you could say, well, that would actually freaking screw the whole system up. That would break everything. That would break everything from the IRS to the NSA to CIA and everything. All their funding would go away. The whole thing. Because it's parasitic on the freaking real producers of this country. That's what actually would do it. And see, when people are so super concentrated on the price of silver, what they're telling me is they're purely speculators. Purely speculators. So, you know, that's one of the problems with the whole situation. You know, people actually need to uh, get back to the basics. I guess the way it was in the 50s, the 40s, the 30s, and the 1800s in the United States. Actually, maybe more like the 1800s when they had the Industrial Revolution. If people actually produce something, hey, everything works out. The numbers don't mean shit. They really don't. They really don't. Because everybody produces and everybody has something. You know? So, but, you know, my point is, that's actually how the physical silver can actually destroy the whole uh, system that people got rigged in their favor right now. Because, you know, the IRS, the... Uh, you know, the banksters, the uh, CIA, the NSA, and all that kind of crap. You know, it's all funded by fiat dork paper. You know what I mean? If it's actually, you know, if none of that stuff's going on, first off, you know, I don't want to say too much about where you get income from or whatever, or whatever you do with your income. But the thing is, if you don't actually, you know, use, transact business in paper, Forget it, man. Forget it. It puts them all under. It puts that whole BS system under. So that's really the way physical silver can freaking knock it down. But you know what? It can't be you just buy a coin and you hold it. It's like everybody's buy the guy buy the has to buy the coins and everybody has to produce like in the old school. You know, people have to actually learn how to do something 
and produce something, produce things that people need. So, and then you freaking busted the whole freaking NSA, the CIA, and all this other crap. And, you know, actually, I can say this, you know, we got the NSA spying on us, we got the CIA spying on us, and people bitching about it. But you notice, you notice, you know, even when I'm doing this electronic thing here on YouTube, I mean, I don't know what the hell can happen with this shit later on. There's a lot of stuff. I mean, they come out with Google Plus. You're supposed to put your your family in this slot. You're supposed to put your acquaintances in here, your business associates. It's like, you know, it's like if the CIA needed that information, they'd have to dig for it. But not, they could just go on Google Plus and get your name and, hey, there you go. Right? That's why this shit's a bunch of bullshit in a way. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just freaking, I'm telling you the absolute truth on this all the way. So watch out for Big Brother all the way. And silver is one way to keep your money out of the hands of Big Brother. You know, that's one thing. So just want to leave you with that. And the guys to really watch for, because I'm a speculator too. I want to sell it to the, uh, the spiteful religious people at very high prices. You know, I want to sell it to them like at 10 times what it, what it should be worth. And let them choke on it, you know? That's really what I want to do. So, but the way I'm going to freaking judge that is basically by Max Kaiser's one. If he really comes out, you know, with the whole bunch of cheerleaders all around him about silver, you know something's, it's hitting bubble phase. And you see that chart going up like that. You know something's going on there. And, you know, guys even like, you know, I, I get in trouble for saying this from my people that are even on my channel that listen to it. But, you know, even somebody like um, Peter Schiff. That guy, if he was his lawyer, he'd be an ambulance chaser. I'm going to tell you right now, these guys, you know, it's like they freaking bullshit. See, I'm not a broker. I'm not trying to get clients here. I'm just giving you straight information, you know. If I was trying to get clients, I mean, well, I'd be putting it out a more professional than I am right now for sure. <laughs> but, I mean, the thing is, um, you know, Peter Schiff is basically like a... Uh, what you'd call like an attorney is like an ambulance changer sir, if he was an attorney. You know, he's actually putting a lot of stuff out there. So you invest with me, buy my book. That guy hasn't, I haven't seen him call anything ever when a commodities or gold or silver or oil was getting ahead of itself or the euro or whatever. He just says, buy emerging markets, buy gold, buy silver. Really? I'm going to tell you again. The two points I think where silver is going to hit, 75, 72 to 75 silver in 2014, I think. And I think in 2017, 150, well, maybe the 200. And the only way I think it's going to go after that is if there's like this global conflict and there's like all these major problems where, you know, the U.S. is getting knocked down as a power more than it should be, then you might see silver go to... 500,000 or more. It might happen. But, you know, I'm going to watch these peaks very carefully, and I'm going to watch very carefully for the tone of Max Kaiser, uh, who's, you know, a lot of people put all this faith in him. <laughs> you know, I think I have a lot of, well, my senses are probably going to tell me what the, deal's going to, the deal is going to be. I just got to make sure I don't listen to these other people, because I think um, uh, I've been more right and I didn't act upon it, but I will now.